Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to either enable or disable the driver verifier within Windows 10. So the driver verifier is a built-in diagnostic tool that helps verify both Microsoft drivers and third-party drivers. So the verification process puts stress onto the drivers and the intention of this is almost like a stress test if any of you are aware of the idea where it will basically test the drivers to the limits and it'll see if any drivers will fail so this would result potentially in a blue screen of death which would generate a crash dump so computers that generally run the drive verifier could seem to be very slow because your drivers are really being stressed out by these tests so it is advised that you do not run the drive verifier for more than a couple days at the most and then disable it or if you receive a blue screen of death at that point you should stop running the drive driver verifier at once as of anything um, before you enable the driver verifier please create a system restore point make sure you back up all your system files and take some precautions because you might receive some errors once you are through getting this to work. So with the precautionary note out of the way, I'll be showing you how to either enable or disable this tool. So we're going to start by heading over to our start menu and we're going to just type in verifier. It's very simple. Um, and then it should say run command right underneath it. So you want to left click on that. You're going to get a user account control pop up and it'll ask you if you want to allow it to make changes to your computer. Please know you do have to have an administrative account with administrative privileges in order to run the driver verifier manager. So once you click on yes, we're going to be prompted with a few different options here. You want to select create custom settings for code developers and then you want to left click on next. Now we'll be prompted to select individual settings from the list. What you want to check mark next to is I slash O verification. And then a little bit further down the list, uh, you want to select force pending IO request. A little forward slash in between the I and the O. And then right underneath it, you also want to check mark IRP logging. Once you're done with that, you want to left click on next here. So and then you want to select driver names from the list and then left click on next. So I would advise against um, trying to verify Microsoft's drivers. So in order to sort by provider you can just click on this provider button and then it will go in kind and sending order. And rather than doing any Microsoft corporation drivers, we're just going to select the ones that are non-Microsoft or otherwise known as third-party drivers. So I'm going to select all of those. And then left click on finish receive a pop-up saying you must restart this computer for the changes to take effect. Left click on OK. So upon reboot the driver verifier will be enabled on your computer. So let's say we restart the computer here.
Okay, so computer is restarted. Let's type in my password here. Okay, so the computer is restarted and the driver verifier should be enabled. Now, if we're going to go about disabling the driver verifier, here's what we're going to do. Go back to the start menu and we're going to type in verifier again. Then we're going to basically do the same thing we did last time. Click on verifier right above run command. Receive user account control window. Select yes. So now we're going to left click on delete existing settings. And then we're going to left click on finish. And then you'll receive a pop up saying the selection deletes all driver verifier settings and ends the program. Do you want to continue? Left click on yes. And then again, it says you must restart this computer for the changes to take effect. Left click on OK. And just restart the computer and you should be good to go. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.